Good morning, Leisha. My name is Sergeant Gallagher. I'm a recruiter for the Massachusetts Air National Guard. Good morning. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What questions can I answer for you today? Uh, first off, I want to know what I can expect going into MEPS. So going into MEPS, you can expect a two-part process. The first part is the ASVAP, or the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. And the second part is a physical. So it is not like a running and push-ups and endurance type physical. It is a doctor's physical, similar to a sports physical that you would receive in your high school. Okay. And um, once I qualify a MEPS, how soon can I join after that? That's completely up to you. So in the Massachusetts Air National Guard, we give you the opportunity to uh, look at the jobs in person before you make any commitments. So once you qualify at MEPS, you receive a list of all of the jobs that you qualify for that we have vacancies in. And then from there, you get to make a list of your top three choices. And then once you decide um, on a day that works for you to come to the base and see them in person, you'll have the chance to do so. You'll get to meet the supervisor of the shop, see the area itself, ask any questions you have of the experts that work there. And then once you make your decision as far as the job that you're interested in, at that point, you get to schedule your enlistment. So say I go through that process and I'm about to join, um, what rank would I join as? That all depends. So right now as a high school senior, you would come in as an E1, which is an Airman Basic. There are some additional ways to come in at a slightly higher rank. For example, if you have between 20 and 44 college credits, you'd get to come in as an E2 or an Airman. If you have 45 or more college credits, you'd be able to come in as an E3 or an Airman First Class. Similarly, if you do three or four years of junior ROTC at your high school, you'd also be able to come in as an E3, Airman First Class. Mm -hmm. And then less frequently, um, there's some other awards that you can receive while doing Civil Air Patrol, or Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts that would also earn you a higher rank. Okay, so speaking of college credits, what are some of the educational benefits of the uh, Massachusetts Air National Guard? So we have some of the best benefits in the country when it comes to education. So our state benefit is we have 100% tuition and fee waiver to any of the 29 state schools here in Massachusetts. Your tuition and fees are completely waived. They're not reimbursed like some other states may offer. And that's, uh, that starts right off the bat once you enlist. So you can use those benefits even while you're waiting to go to basic training. And then once you graduate your technical school, you're eligible to use your Montgomery GI Bill benefits. The Montgomery GI Bill Chapter 1606, the current rank for this year is $397 tax-free every month if you're a full-time student. If you're not attending school full-time, that amount gets prorated down. Okay. And once I join, what is the commitment? So the commitment is every initial contract is going to be for a period of eight years. Six of those is active. So for the first six years, you're showing up, doing your one week in a month, two weeks a year with additional opportunities for travel and work days. And then at the end of that six years, if you decide not to re-enlist or extend, you go into what's called the individual ready reserve. So that's basically like a holding bench. If we suddenly needed more people in your career field, then at that point, we would pull you off of that holding bench and bring you back into service. Um, to help out. And then if you do decide at that six year mark to re-enlist or extend, you are able to do so. Um, now it's important to note that your first contract is the only time that we're going to tell you how long you have to enlist for. Um, if you decide to re-enlist or extend at that six year mark, you can re-enlist or extend for as little as one year and all the way up to the maximum of six years. Okay, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much. You got it. It was great chatting with you, Alicia. Good talking to you too.